Well, the Republicans, on behalf of the oil industry, are continuing to press on that issue. Um, it's our belief that if there is a lifting of the ban on the exploitation of oil, uh, which experts say will give them $500 billion of new revenues over the next 20 years, in addition to the $140 billion of tax breaks they get under existing law, um, that's about $650 billion uh, worth of uh, a, a government gifts to them uh, that would occur uh, because of our policy that the least that should happen is that there is a 10-year extension of the wind and solar tax breaks. Um, those industries say that if they could receive that, uh, that we could have 40% uh, wind and solar electrical generation in our country by the year 2030. That's the kind of deal that we should be talking about here. If, there, if, that, if the lifting of the band occurs, then we should have something which then happens significantly for the wind and solar industry because the oil industry keeps their $70 billion of tax breaks per decade. We should receive uh, a similar amount for wind and solar as the oil industry's stocks will start to go up because of the lifting of the ban. So unless there's that kind of a deal, then it will not be good for the climate. Uh, and, and I don't know where it is right now other than to say that it's on the table and that the Republicans and the American Petroleum Institute, the Koch brothers, ExxonMobil are fighting for it right now as we are here in this room.